doing up so early? Where's my glasses? Oh, oh my toe. Ugh. What? What's this letter? What's this letter? Oh, I can't read anything without my glasses. This letter smells like Earl Grey tea. What is it? It's signed. Final boss? Is this Ermagerd Bernstein? That's right, everyone. It's the Perch Nerds, and judging by the weight of this letter, it is the doozy I've been expecting. Mostly. Well, almost. Sort of? But there is so very much to cover, but let me just set this up, what's going on in the background. A very good game in the Massachusetts, which you very rarely see me play because I find it too easy. But that said, let's get the team down at KRKN Channel 5 News on the satellite link to give you their analyses. Jerk, take it away. Thank you, Jerk. Well, it is no secret that the biggest addition that this game is seeing is Tier 8, and we are happy to say that there will be 12 ships not tied behind any early access crates or any nonsense tomfoolery. No, you will be able to pick up all of these ships on day one. So long as you have the XP and, uh, you know, 367.2 million silver laying around. Or the low, low price of 30.6 million per ship, assuming you want the base mods. And that will grant you the privilege of being middle tier in a boring legendary tier match. But surely there must be some way we can spice up legendary tier, like a new bureau ship, perhaps? Yes, the Colbert is finally back, but not without a couple of huge twists. It will cost 3,000 steel to be able to research it. Now, that is one way to prevent brand new players from falling up the stairs, but is it the best way? I know I don't think so, but catch your breath because I've got some other news. You remember how the old test Colbert was going to need to be tweaked before it ever came back? Well, it has, to the tune of zero changes. That's right, it is exactly the same as it was during the test. Jerk, you have already mentioned 13 new ships this update. I don't think I can handle anymore. Well, take some deep breaths because we're not done. Nix, the campaign, Le Magnifique Republic, a tier 8 French battleship awaits your deep pockets and patience. As many know, this is a tier 10 ship on PC, but is being reworked into our tier 8. A quick breakdown of it is it has 17 inch guns with very, very good penetration. It is pretty much a roided out Gascon, which is to say, I think the average player will do rather poorly in it because it's not for bow tanking. It is not for stagnant battleship gameplay. It is for moving around and flanking, which most of our player base just doesn't do. But I am glad that we're getting a French ship. However, another battleship already? Wasn't Flandre like two updates ago? Does the Belfast 43 campaign even count as a real ship? Either way, it's nice for an underrepresented nation to get some attention, and speaking of, let's give some attention to a new nation we can ignore. The first ship of the Commonwealth is here in the form of Vampire. Bite! Sorry, channeling my internet cave there. A new tier 2 ship for whatever. Like, listen, it, it, it's free, and it comes with a commander, so yeah, pick it up. Anyway... There, that is 15 new ships this update. That has got to be it. No? Well, this next one I hesitate to call a ship, but Graf Zeppelin is available as a premium tier 7 carrier, which you can get for... I don't know. This doesn't say if it's for sale or a bureau, so I'm guessing it will be for sale. 
How much will that tier 7 carrier cost you? Probably a new mortgage on the house or one of your kidneys. Well, I don't know, friend. You may want to save those for the new entries in the auction. That will be one kidney for a commander, guys. Really? But all of your remaining organs for the tier 7 German destroyer in air quotes. That's right, it's time for Elbing. Psst. Psst. Hey, you guys. Between us, listen. The Elbing will be available later for Global XP, so don't waste your money on it now. Sweet baby Jeebus Jerk, that is 17 new ships this update. That has got to be it. Yes. Yes, it is. But only for ships. Now we are moving on. Can you feel that? Can you feel that warm sense of love as a great wrong is being righted? And that is with the addition of a new Italian commander for battleships, Angelo Iacchino. And he is focused on accuracy and survival. All those pitchforks can finally be lowered. He also has three unique perks. Honestly... He looks pretty interesting, but between him and the Commonwealth Commander, how can I possibly be expected to rank up all these commanders? Well, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, because win roses and first win bonuses are back, baby, from August 8th through the 15th. And the reward for Tier 8 ships is an insignia. Yeah, that if you're like me, has the potential for 13 insignias right there, along with, what, the four or five from the campaign? I think that's going to be enough for me to get an additional three commanders to 16. Do I even have anyone I want to get to 16? All right, somebody give me some water. I'm getting parched going over all this, but let's keep going. A couple things to note that aren't major, but I think are worth mentioning. We do get a new port, and there are a few Easter eggs hidden in there. It sure does sound like the other nation tier 8 ships will be coming sooner than later. So you may want to pace your silver spending if you're looking for something specific in the not-so-distant future. There is also going to be a birthday bureau event that will no doubt get you some goodies and collaborations and special event content will be coming back, including the return of Arpeggio of Blue Steel. And I think that's the first time that they've come back. And there are a few commanders in there that may interest some, such as Haruna. There will also be the return of the treasure hunt, which can net you a couple Super 5 crates. That's guaranteed premium tier 5 ships right there. And now they've updated those to include the most powerful ship of all time. The Hwangy Dang Dang. Also, Anchan's WeHo Hyuga in Arizona. And I think that's it. Are we done? <laughs> no, <laughs> there's more. All the tier 7 carrier planes are getting an HP buff because... But don't worry, don't worry. To make it up to you, Parsival Torps will do 233 less damage. And Shikaku will be getting larger squadron strikes, which honestly, not that I'm a carrier player, but never understood that one getting nerfed in the first place. Anyway, main battery reload boosters will now work even if you have a primary turret display. Destroyed. I have to admit, I've got no issues with this, but um, that is really about the balance changes. I know it hasn't been incredibly long since we've gotten a big balance pass. I think it was like, what, maybe four or five months ago? I don't know. I was really hoping for something similar to that one again, but what I really wanted was something for the dumbest thing in the game, which is will to rebuild. I despise it more than the auction. At least with the auction, you have time to make yourself look pretty before you get f So that's the patch notes, folks. But all right, not to be all Steve Jobs about it, but there is just one more thing. <laughs> it is time. It is time for you to make the choice of the ultimate sacrifice. Do you keep your Weimar? 
or do you return it for 12,500 doubloons? It looks like it's not going to be getting the originally planned fourth slot, but will instead get a heal. How many? Unknown. How much does it heal? I couldn't tell you. How do I think this ship will be able to handle tier 7? Just fine. We have already established there is no separation of experience at any tier in standard battles, nor will there ever be. You could be the most elitist of unicorns and play in tier 2, and you can spend your way to legendary for a small fortune and very few matches played. That is the game. That is the game mode. That is how it will always be until there are clan battles and training rooms. So deal with it or don't. All right. That right there, folks, is the patchiest of patch notes in a very long time. There is a complete boatload of new content being added in the form of ships and a complete lack of content as far as big bug fixes, big balance changes, big bureau changes, big meta changes, but boats is what most folks are here for. And if the other nation's tier 8 tech trees are dropping soon, then there will be plenty of those for a while. I don't think tier 8 is really going to do anything. I'm not really sure it's supposed to. Long-term players will get them, shorter-term players won't. I like this 3,000 steel required to unlock Colbert, though I do think I forgot to mention that you have got to get it by August 29th. So if that's your jam, make sure and do that. I know I will, even though I don't really find it that fun. Maybe it is now though. I think Weiji is planning on lending it to the CCs again for a week. But we should have a fresh look at all of those next week, whether streaming or in videos being posted i will try to keep you all informed i know many of the cc's will be showing off various ships but i'm pretty sure only a aaron and i will have all of them and that's only if he's finished his grinds anyway what do you all think let me know in the comments below i mean to me this is the doozy of an update i was mostly hoping for i really hope the next couple updates are balance changes, maybe a couple maps, and the addition of tech trees. That would really, really <laughs> do some work for me. Also, I could be entirely wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. Maybe tier 8 is going to be exactly what I've been looking for for, what is it? I think about a year and a half ago, I posted a video in the Tashkent saying this game needs a big change. And this might just be what it needs. Anyway, I do not manage to pull off the Kraken here. I do get a very solid shot off here, but the Kansas, none being unwilling to play along with my scheme, ducks behind an island, so rather than just watch this clock run out, let's just go ahead and jump to the scoreboard. 3,415 base XP for a very good game. And while we didn't really have time to talk about the strategies or why I was doing what, I think most of you will agree that it was, so a GG to all involved. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you'll just save your global XP for a minute to pick up the Elbing, then give this video a like. If you've already sold the naming rights to your first child in exchange for the funds to bid on it in the auction, hit dislike. Questions, comments, Leave them down below, and as I mentioned, if you want to be there to get a look at these 17 new ships being added, think about hitting subscribe. Thanks for watching, folks. I am going back to bed, and we will talk soon.